Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Herbert's Dummy Run for the Commodore 64. We used to have this back in the day for the Amstrad CPC 464. Also played it on the ZX Spectrum not so long ago. Um, <coughs> excuse me, but I thought I want to see what the Commodore 64 version is like for this. Um, yeah, I wouldn't hold your breath too high. Um, right. So we're going to use keyboard, OP and space is the keys, just three keys. Um, there we go. <coughs> well I'm not over, as I said, don't hold your breath and you can see why. This is basically exactly the same as the Spectrum version. I never thought it was possible to port Spectrum games to the Commodore 64. The Amstrad TPC, yes, it was cap it was well I say capable, of course it was, both had the Z80 uh, processor, but I didn't think it was um, that easy to copy a game from the Spectrum to the Commodore 64. Well obviously the sound effects are different but graphically it's the same. Um, the Amstrad version was totally different. It was much nicer colours, much nicer graphics. I mean, look at it, it's just the character is in monochrome. You would easily thought you was playing this on a spectrum. Um, so, yeah, I'm very disappointed. I couldn't really get into this game back in the day. But to see a sort of spectrum game on the Commodore 64, um, yeah, that's very disappointing. Um, I mean you don't really see that happening I think with mainly old games possibly but uh, no this is this is very lazy on the Commodore 64 very very lazy um, right yeah so the game, idea of the game if you haven't played it already um, so you basically I think you're a baby You've lost your parents, and you've got to find them. But, I mean, it reminds me a little bit of Jack the Nipper, except for I thought Jack the Nipper was better. Um, same sort of thing where you have to find um, objects, put them together with something else, and makes and does something. Well, I'm not going to get through there. You get three lives in this game. So this is a lift, I think. So that takes you up there, and you find a. So basically, to pick up objects, you just walk into it. So I might need that rope, but nah, too silly, but let's have one more game. Let's try a bit. Yeah, it's not a very exciting game, to be honest with you. Um, right, let's show you another room. Right, we've got a tennis racket, so here we can have a little game of like um, a bat and ball type game. So you can knock the ball up. As you can see, we're knocking down the bricks. Reminds me a little bit of like Arkanoid or something like that. Oh, if you lose the ball, then all those bricks will come back. And you've got to do it all over again. It's just to get that little glove, which that little glove does something. I don't know what it does. Um, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not uh, impressed with the Commodore 64 version whatsoever. It's a ZX Spectrum game. Obviously, I don't know what it came out in first, but I'm only guessing it came out in the Spectrum first. But there you go. So to me, well as I said I had the Amstrad CPC version back in the day. Oh, don't want to do that. Don't want to go out the door. And I thought the Amstrad CPC version was the best version. Because it wasn't a Spectrum port. Like, like usually the Amstrad suffers from Spectrum ports. In this occasion it hasn't. It's the Commodore 64. <laughs> oh, don't... Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm not doing that all over again. That is really annoying. 
Um, oh, we can't go that way, otherwise you die. Uh, so basically, this is all you do. Finding objects, what they do with each other. So we've got a radio there, lost a life. It's basically, it's a, ah, so this one, I think I've showed you this room. Yeah, really there's no point in this, you're just throwing dummies in the air, they keep respawning. You can't get through that door because you can't jump when you're firing. It's only in one of certain rooms that you fire and the jump is disabled. Um, nah, it's a lot of slowdown in this and all. It really is a lot of slowdown. Oh, I don't know. Really. Ah, I ain't playing it no more. Not impressed with the Commodore 64 version. Um, no different really from the Spe Spectrum version, as I keep saying. Um, game to me is not that exciting. And, yeah. Maybe give this one a miss. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.